Welcome back once again to Dead Island, everybody. I'm joined with Sior here, and um, we are in a very odd location right now. We just um, took a trip. I made a waypoint. Um, we're not at that waypoint right now, but we found another place along the way. Um, like I said before, we do want to do as many side quests as possible, and um, sometimes that means that we're going to do a lot of searching for these places. Um, because it's they're kind of uh, the people that we meet are kind of out of the way so what we did here we've already cleared out this place of zombies and we haven't come uh, walked inside this room yet to see what's in it it could just be a bunch of zombies but there's an ex exclamation point here so let's see what's who's in here oh nice Sayor found some deodorant Ah, yes. <coughs> this is who we're looking for. So good. Please. You gotta take this insulin to my brother, Danny. He needs it. He's in Bungalow 14. Please. Yeah. Good. Look, you better go. He's one at a time. All right, so we have to take the insulin. There it is. We have to take the insulin to his brother Danny. And we had actually already been to Bungalow 14. That was the bungalow with the zombie banging on the door that we couldn't get into. Um, so I'm going to get rid of this waypoint here. So make sure no zombies come in. And <clears throat> let's highlight yeah, too much sugar. Do you have the do you have the path on your map? Because it's not showing up for me. Okay. You have the little white dots. Hmm. Well, here comes some infected. So that's a deer in the operation. There we go. Alright, let's go back to the silver bungalows. And I think they're just right here, really. And so is this guy. What's up? So we really weren't too far away. I knew it was in the silver bungalows, but we were just in the wrong area of the silver bungalows. Alright. There's Rogers and Jessica's house. We don't have to go there anymore. Yeah, you lead the way because you have the dots. <laughs> Hmm. Oh. Yeah, we have to get rid of this. We have to get rid of this guy. There we go. Now we can actually go in. Nice. Let's see what's here. Usually, uh, you're pretty safe um, from zombies if you see an exclamation point, because that typically means that the person is alive. So, hmm. I don't think useful? there are any exclamation points for dead people, but those are usually um, indicated by skulls. So, here's Danny. You, wait, wait. you're not I'm my brother? He must have sent you, right? Thank you. I'll just wait until this kicks in. Wait until Luke gets here. Alright. So he gives you a lot of money for that. Um, 
Apparently this guy has diabetes, which is why he has he has to have insulin. And I really wish I knew where that Richard guy was. Like I said, we may be doing a lot of searching around. <laughs> so um, just bear with us, guys. Hopefully we can make this as entertaining as possible. Oh, there's the eggs. Yeah, that's why we couldn't get in the first time. Those doors are barred completely, so. Now, let's see. Ooh, I don't want to jump down there. That's a little far. <laughs> that would not be wise. I'm going to try to find, let's see. We can go back up to the road now, I guess. Or maybe find a pathway down to the beach. And hopefully find that Richard guy. That's who I want to find, because I know where one of the guys is that we we haven't talked to yet. Oh, here we go. This leads down to the beach. <clears throat> There's a, that guy named Richard. He's apparently at a lifeguard station along this way, but there's an infected. All right. Well, he's taken care of. Oh, goodness. It's a lot. These weapons are not. These weapons that I have are not doing a very good job at all. Not against these guys, anyway. Jeez. What is the deal? Ugh. Oh. So much for that. Apparently, we can get in here. A little afraid to. But there's a personal ID. A weak diving knife, which would be good for throwing. If anyone can hear this, please help me. I'm broadcasting from the hotel bungalows. I'm under siege. I'm trying to get in and I don't know how long this door will hold. And there's another guy who's looking for help, but I have no idea where he is either. Hmm. It's turning into a wild goose chase. Okay, watch my back. I'm going to check my map real fast. There's some areas that we have not come to yet. Actually, I think... Ah. Oh. There's some places that we haven't even been to yet, and I think we're in the diamond area right now. So, okay, so let's go this way. Here's a lifeguard station here. Oh yeah, there's a kicking a walker from outside the building. Oh crap. That thug is... That thug is... That thug is getting up. 
dangerous hammer. Here comes our thug. I wonder if I can get him from inside here. <laughs> I just shut the door on you, I'm sorry. Oh, did you knock him down? Oh, maybe I... Well... I'm trying to break it. Just in case it does do I think he's done now. Oh, he has brass knuckles. We don't need those. I don't need those. I do have some brass knuckles in my inventory that I could probably drop if I wanted to. Oh, I see some skulls. That may be a good thing. Because those skulls usually mean that somebody there. Enemy to kill. Yeah, that's what they mean. Oh yeah, here's the here's the stage. Nice. I'm gonna change my weapon here because this machete's about had it. I'll go to this cane knife. So here we have Please. Alfred. And he is apparently a party animal. And so are these zombies. So let's take these guys out. Down there! Kill those things so I can get down! One thing I read about this guy is if you use a bomb or a Molotov, then you could actually kill Alfred. And I was fucked up. And that's oh, not shit, something you want to do. Get the hang of this. Nice. I just upgraded. Or leveled up, rather. So what does he have to give us? Eighty-two dollars. Eh. A little bit of money goes a long way sometimes. So uh Well, we took care of that, but we still have not found that Richard guy. Um I'm beginning to wonder where exactly he is. Alright, you can lead the way. 